My name is Morgan Taylor. About four months ago, my brother Hal and his best friend Alex, they went missing in the Mexican desert somewhere. Nobody knows where they went, why they went there, or how they knew about this place. They just never came home one day. I've been trying to research the area to see if I could figure it out. All I could come up with was Zona del Silencio. Things go missing there. Planes, rockets, radio signal. Apparently people too. And the authorities, they just joked that they were irresponsible tourists doing God knows what in the desert. <laughs> he was my best friend. So <laughs> I'm determined to find them. I need to know what happened. You heard about the hills have eyes? Well, this place has fucking ears, too. Re man. Really? Really? Could you keep it clean? All right, this is just for YouTube. It's um, an intro. That's it. Nothing more. Okay. I, I all right, you want to be part of it? I didn't know we were shooting. That's fine. All right, we can do this. Real quickly, OK? Hey, Goose, you ready? Goose? OK, Goose. All right. Hi, I'm Hal. This is? Hi, I'm Alex. And we are the Alien Hunters. Sounds stupid to you? Well, not to the aliens, does it? That's terrible. Terrible. All right, all right, fine, leave. I'll do it. <sighs> Hi. Hi. You are dead. No, you are dead. As you can hear from the carbon monoxide explosion going on over here and the lack of visual connectivity, Rain Man over here is trying to figure out a math problem with something I called intellectual subconscious referencing. Yes, and clearly using this process, anything is possible. And it looks like he's gonna be at this for a long time. Hmm? As for me, I think I found a website that's pretty cool and that actually could be the point of our next adventures. Uh, Zona? Del Silencio. It's located right here in the Mapimi Reservation in Mexico, right there, where other worldly stuff happens, UFOs, that type of thing. But it is actually located on the, the same axis as the Bermuda Triangle. But my very, very favorite part is, is that it has a biosphere. That's a visitor center. Fuck! Oh, fuck, it was on the tip of my head. Uh, what's up? Dude, do you have it? Like, where'd it go, man? It, uh, your scrap piece of paper with scribble written down on it? Yeah, it needs to be in the in, in position, position or the yeah, whole thing doesn't I, work. Yeah, okay. Here, bring it over here. There you go. What are you guys doing? You shooting a porno? Uh, no, actually, we're getting some work done. We're shooting the Zone de la Silencio, Zone of Silence. Zone of Silence? Uh, yeah, you know? Yeah, fuck yeah, they have a biosphere. I've been trying to tell you about it all day. Tell them about the uh, mutated animals or the uh, fact that uh, it gobbles up radio and TV signals or planes go missing and that UFO activity abounds? Well, uh, we were getting there. <laughs> yeah. What else you been doing? Uh, well, 
you know, I've been doing work. What are you, what are you Ivan, what have you been doing? You've been doing nothing. I've been doing research. This is not research. It takes a lot out of you, I tell you what. And I'm gonna have to take a nap after this. Here, shut up, look here, look here. No, come here, look at this. It says here, the zone of silence gobbles up radio and TV signals. And in the 19th century, which, I don't know, that's like decades ago, Farmers reported seeing hot pebbles fall from the sky. Ooh, I like hot pebbles. Those are kind of cool. Fucking find some of those, huh? Okay, oh, look, check, check this out. So travelers going through the zone report seeing strange fucking lights and burning bushes. Burning bushes? That's like fucking biblical, man. Dude, and check, check, check this. Check, check, shut up, shut up, shut up, check this out. Two ranchers on their way back from festivities reported seeing a glowing light come down from the sky and spitting out glowy humanoid creatures. Well, that sounds a little uh, weird. Maybe even a little, okay, scary, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit. It's a bit like What are you doing? Please, someone help us. Hey, we've been stuck out here in the zone for <laughs> We shouldn't have done this. This was a little this was too a much. horrible idea. We are so hungry. If anyone and gets their safe, it's Hal and Alex. We, we Please need send help. help. We need food and water right now. So badly. <laughs> We're going to get it right now. So matter of fact. We just need provision. <laughs> Pork and beans, my friends. This is all you need for a camping trip. Hey, Hal. I couldn't remember what size you were. <laughs> Get the water. You're a cruiser, right? Get. All right, I'm getting the water. So we have to deal with. Just put it together and let's go. My leg is killing me. It's right here. It's right, it's right here. That's not water. You know, I heard like in the 1970s that uh, a missile got knocked off course and landed out here. Something to do with the magnetic fields or something. Where'd you read that? The internet. I mean, that's why all the meteorites, you know, they land out here. Same, same principle, you know, just like the, the magnetism of the place just like sucks in metal particles, you know. It'd be cool if we could find something like that, you know. Is that because of the triangle? It's like the Bermuda Triangle gets sucked in things, back on a pole. I don't know, maybe it's the same principle. It'd be cool if we figured that out though, right? I don't know about that. I got an idea. Let's let's pull over and get an establishing shot of the truck for Goose. Oh yeah. You kind of Actually, play. yeah, that's a good idea. Because then it's just us driving the entire time. Right. Alright. I'll go get out. You just go back so you double back. And just drive straight through. Okay? Sure. Yeah. Goose duct taped this thing down way too much. Why is it called goose anyways? You know what? I don't know.
Don't say a word. <laughs> So what about your sister Morgan? Don't talk about my sister Morgan. Dude, she's hot. Yeah, well the one thing about that is that she's my sister, okay? Does it make her any less hot? Well, to me it does, yeah. Okay. She's not my sister. Whoa, there's a sign. Shit. Right there, yes, that's for the sign. For the Shit, we're at the silencio. zone. Zone del silencio. Right here, easy, 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 okay, easy. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Okay, good. All right. Let's do this. Let's get stuff. Let's go. I wish... Okay, I wish Goose was here. He's got an eye for this. Yeah, but only one good leg, right? Yes, because it got blown off in Fallujah. He was there as a comms guy on the front lines, okay? Well, comes on. Let's do this already. You know, then. all right, do you know that I got medevac the first day out of there, okay? Did they ever find his leg? All right, all right, all right. Maybe it's like an Iraqi playing field hockey. Ah! Hi, I'm Hal. This is Alex. Together we are the Alien Hunters. Oh, come on, man. That's we traveled 500 man. miles south to the Chihuahua Desert here for the Zona del Silencio. The Zona, Zona of Silence. Silence. And this is where a lot of UFO activity happens. And there's a lot of weird creatures out here as well. Like the glowy humanoids. We're not down with the glowy humanoids. Yeah, they're a little like... Join us on our adventures where anything can happen. That was good, man. Huh? Yeah, I think you nailed it. Morgan. Yes, yeah, good. You? Who else knows besides me? Okay, hold up. I'm going to put you on speaker. I'm going to run some diagnostics while I have you up. I got this wireless going on. Goose, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, really good. As you were saying? I haven't told anybody else about this. I, I kind of wanted to tell Christine, but I didn't think it'd be fair to drag her into all of this. and. She can kind of be a drama queen sometimes. You have a GPS shot? Turn it on, please. So help me keep a good eye on you when the cameras fail. And when they do, they're going to keep rolling until we get you connected to the cloud again. The GPS, too. Got it. Just like we practiced. If I lose signal, I'll just keep walking until it picks up again. Uh, hey, Goose. I, I know I said it a million times already, but thank you. I, I really couldn't have done this without you. Our men were Marines. No man left behind. Or women? Especially women. <laughs> now, I'm gonna let you go. Right. Give you some alone time and let you focus on the road. I'll call you later. Order finally. I need to practice my Spanish, which sucks, by the way. Okay, so after I get across, I still have a few hours to drive to Durango. I've got a hotel booked there. It's actually the same one that Helen Alex stayed at. I'm hoping to pick up some leads while I'm there. There's a few bars close by. Maybe someone will remember something useful this time. I need to get out and stretch my legs. My butt's gone to sleep. <laughs> No voy a capturar animales. Voy a capturar video. Video, una película. What do you mean? Eso no al... No. No es lo que quedamos. Quedamos en 150 dólares. Es más que justo. 
estoy haciendo un documental sobre los jóvenes en dis, dis, disappeared in la zona del silencio. It's almost 10.30 a.m. I've called three, no, five of my referrals since my last contact proved to be a bust. The lead that I had on Hal and Alex was a waiter that they met at the bar. I went and had dinner there last night, and he had very little to contribute aside from hitting on me. And then this morning, his brother Gerardo decided last minute to not be my guide. This area near the town of Ceballos is known to the locals as the Zona del Silencio. It's one of the many places around the world that have baffled scientists and scholars for decades. Nothing seems to work there properly. Forget radios and cell phones, even compasses, the needles will just keep spinning and spinning. Have aliens been visiting these sites over the centuries? And did they help shape the world we live in today? And if so, did they concentrate on specific locations? There are a number of reports of UFOs in the zone of silence. It's basically Mexico's Bermuda Triangle, located pretty much on the same parallel. I know that like 15 miles off in that direction is where they found Hal's car, but this, this is the last time anybody had any real records of them. Wish me luck. I'm not sure when it officially ends. Five miles ago? I'm getting some dropout in signal. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, like it's, it's patchy. Try your local radio. Nothing. Okay, I'm losing some visual signal now. Can you still hear me? I don't know if you're getting this, but the fucking car just died. Oh, shit. Okay, well, the car is completely done. I'm not gonna be able to go anywhere else with it, so I think I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. I really wanted to set up a camp, but I'm just too tired. I wonder if this is the same thing that happened to Hal. But I will set up some perimeter cameras just in case. Keep an eye out on things, you know? It is way too early to be awake. So, you got about 20 miles until you get to where the guys last were? All right. All on foot from here on out. Oh, don't worry about the car. I'll make sure someone gets out to fix it before you get back. Alternator out or something. Who knows? All right, get to the My car. Well, it's 
about 7.45 a.m. Probably 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably about an hour or so. It'll get up to maybe 75, 80. Another hour after that, up to 90. I'll probably need to cover about 10 miles today and I'll have to set up camp and let the sun cool down and then set out again. It's kind of hard to believe that I'm walking in the same footsteps as Hal. Oh, what's that? It's like a burnt tree. Bush looks kind of petrified. Am I really that scary? No comment. Could be what's left of Alex's burning bush. And look at these things. What the hell are these? Hot pebbles. Glowy humanoid creatures would be next on the list then, huh? Comforting. I'm gonna take some of them with me. I think I might have to stop some goose. Do what you gotta do. It's getting pretty hot. Fuck, there's not much cover out here. Looks like it might get pretty windy out there. Up ahead, and we, I didn't know where this place was all set. You know, it was a kind of, you know, weren't uh, supposed to be there kind of thing, you know. And all of a sudden, man, it was like lights came from everywhere, or like from above, mostly. And uh, I woke up the next day, man, I was like walking like back of the car, and it's like, I don't know what happened. That been really gone. I wrote shit down, I wrote shit down. I, I put stuff on my hands up. Just somehow I see bamped up dead and shit. Just, just words like abduction, alien, take him. And uh, I tell you, these guys, these, these, these aliens, they're fucking scrubbing your mind afterwards. I was, it's all about if you, if you see shit, they wipe, they wipe it, man. They fucking wipe it. I, I was fucking there. Well, the storm hit me pretty hard. Put me back a few hours. Had to clean the gear a bit. It took it out of me. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna call it. Well, I finally got my tent all set up, so I'm calling it a night and I'm gonna get some sleep. <laughs> so, good night. <gasps> Coyotes. Boys have always scared the shit out of me. Coyotes. Terrified of them. Like 
Velociraptor. If I see any of those on the stove, I'll be sure to let you know. Hey, I'm going to need just like a second of privacy, okay? Yeah, okay. I'll shut, I'll shut the cameras off of my end. I'll do it. <laughs> Perv. Oh, and Goose? No peeking. Please. I'm not Alex. Stunning morning. I'm a little bit behind, so I'm gonna power down the cameras for a bit and save some juice. Bye. GPS watch says I should be getting pretty close to where they camped out. It's gotta be down there somewhere. This is it. This is it. Oh my god. This is the last place that we heard from them. Pork and bean can sure sign Hal's been here. <sighs> Place didn't even clean it up. We'll find them. We should camp on higher ground. This way the cameras will get a better view of what's around you. <clears throat> All right. So this first camera I'm going to show you here. This is Mark. He's one of my GoPros. Let's test him out. Mark has night vision capabilities, which will be very useful. Let me come over here and see this little guy. This is one of my laser sensors, and he will connect up to my seismograph. So if anything crosses his path, I will know about it. Now, if we come over here, this guy's pretty cool. This is Matt. He is my perimeter camera. He follows anything that gets in front of him for up to 50 feet. It's pretty cool. And now I get to show you my favorite camera. Now this camera is pretty special. This one here, who says it's a HDRI something or other. It can pick up the faintest details in the dark or even the surface of the sun. Whatever, it looks cool. You ready to start some testing? Plug in the electronic gear. Start more localized. I'm going to set the scan from here, and then after that, we're going to go a little bit more outward. You set? think so. That's really odd. Sensors seem to be having a problem locking onto the source. Gonna reset. What was that? You still there, Goose? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm just resetting the scan.
It's quiet. That was unexpected. What was it? Had structure, almost like a burst transmission. A what? It's a burst signal. It's an ultra high frequency transmission used by the military. It pushes in a large amount of data in a small time so that this way the enemy doesn't get it. Special forces. But the waveform doesn't look right. I'm going to run it through some filtering and see what pops up. Are you kidding me? What the hell was that? That is not even funny. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, somehow that's worse. Goose, it's going real quiet out here, which is a little fucked up. Okay, let's get my mind on something else. A metal detector. Okay, Goose, just hang on a second. I'll, I'll head back. All right, just hang on. I'm coming back. Goose, 
Marcus, what is it? I'm here. What's up? Matt, he took something outside the tent. Something like what? The camp was dead before you pick it up. Put on the headphones. It's still right there at the camp with you. Run it again. Let's see if we can hear anything. I'm gonna go back out. Uh, that's a good idea. If they say where you are, we don't know what's out there for sure. Are you serious? Of course I'm going back out. I have to know what it is. Well, whatever it is or was, it's gone. I've been out here for over an hour and there's nothing. Oh, my heart is pounding. Okay, let's try the metal detector again. See if it can pick up anything. Wow, this is weird. Oh, this thing is really close. No more than maybe 30 feet. Okay, hold on. I'm going to set up night vision. Okay, set this to a wide range, close surface scan. Let's see what we got. Oh. This thing is like right here. What in the world? It's like right under my feet. what he always took with him camping. Their dads. I also found all of these camera cards. For the first time, I'm actually really scared. Goose. Goose.
I'm gonna start streaming the camera cards I found in Hal's mess kit. <sighs> I'm too screwed up to watch them right now. The morning, but not now. I need to clear my head. Watch the cameras, okay? Okay, okay. Don't you worry. You just get some sleep. <sighs> Fucking wolves. How many aliens did we find today? Are you gonna set up that tent? Are we gonna sleep here tonight? I don't even know what this is. It's extra smooth and rare blended. Superb. Are you gonna set up the tent? Dude, I don't wanna get bit by like snakes out snake, here. Snakes, 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 snakes. Woo! Yeah, they're yeah. No, that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen because I set up the tent. <laughs> you <don't> fuck up, <laughs> You look marvelous. Dude, I'm fucking burnt to shit. Yeah, you are. <sighs> I can't believe you forgot the sunscreen. Uh, well, I don't need sunscreen. <sighs> I got some Portuguese in me. <laughs> Allows me to tan. Yeah, what was his name? <laughs> Hey, hey, that's not cool, dude. It's not cool. Shit. Did you hear that? Uh, let me check. Shh, how? Sh <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no, seriously, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, all right? I heard something out there. Well, where? Out there, like coming from that mountain that we were at earlier, you know? Are you getting this? You know what I'm getting? I'm getting some really good sunburn. I'm serious, you fucking asshole. I'm serious, man. <laughs> okay. No, listen, did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's like a shot or something. Like a warning or something like that. They don't want us out here, man. I did hear that. Yeah, see? I'm not fucking around. Lasers. See if anything triggered them. Okay, the first one's fine. If something had triggered it, it would be blinking, and it's not. What the fuck was 
sad. I'm too fucking scared to close my eyes. Okay. Calm down. This is crazy. You gotta find the other laser. Where's the third one? Where did the laser go? I knew I was right here. Um, what the hell is that? Are you there? You said you got some readings or something. What's out here? And one of the perimeter cameras is knocked out of position somehow. Knocked? D did I do it? You were still inside the tent. Well, then what? I don't know. Goose, how do you not know? Is this some kind of fucking joke? Morgan! Give me something. The transmission that you picked up yesterday? Just stop it. Do you know what it is? Play it again. A voice? Why would there be a voice? The filtering can only separate it by playing it back at a certain rate. If you crank it up too fast, it falls apart. It okay, I don't know what entirely. that means. It means that something doesn't like to be overheard. Okay, so what now? I found another one of the media cards in Hal's mess kit. It was in the deck of cards. I'm not sure that you have the charts to upload it. You have to get your power cells charged for your return leg tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and start uploading these, okay? It's uploading. Last time I let Dickweed do the shopping. Hey, Doofus, on the phone with Mommy. It'd be most outstanding if you could lend your expertise to getting the stove started over here. Call your mom back later. Mom, we have plenty, Mom, we have beans. Pork and beans. Plenty. Water, what's that? Oh, shit. Shit, help. Help, get out of here, man. What, Alex? Dude, something's going on, man. Get out of here right now. Uh, hold on, something, uh, I gotta go. Something's going on. <laughs> dude, dude. What the hell is that? <laughs> dude, your face is priceless, Don't man. Don't shoot me, fucking shoot that. Dude, this is just like in the book, man. How lucky are we? Dude, your camera work is shoddy, dude. Come here. Just gone. Did you see how fucking fast that thing was? It just like zoomed across the sky, man. Alex, Shit. does every word out of your mouth have to be fuck? I'm calling mom back. Dude, fuck mom. This is some Fox Mulder shit, man. Holy Christ, on a fucking cracker. <sighs> okay, I'm headed towards the light. It's about a mile ahead. And I'm by myself. Alex? Alex has been like freaking out. He said the light like saw us or something. And he's like freaking out. He doesn't know what's going on. So we're gonna find out what's going on. Man, 
I am out of shape. <sighs> Whoa. There it is. There it is. Alex! Like, I'm completely disoriented. Just flash your light if you can hear me! If that is you, stop it! That's it! I'm done! I'm out of here! Don't screw it! Oh. Stop it! God damn! Son of a bitch! Fucking goddamn son of a cocksucker! And he calls himself a Marine, ladies and gentlemen. You, you couldn't you couldn't fucking give me a heart attack! Sorry, man, I saw you coming a mile away, you freight oaf. What was that sound? What sound? Yeah, you know what sound I'm talking about. That sound that you were making, that... Click, 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 click. This one? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Make the sound. Make it. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm not doing this anymore, man. Stop it! Stop it! I'm serious! I'm not fucking with you! S sorry, dude, sorry. I, I couldn't resist, man. This is not funny. What was that sound? Dude, listen, I saw the light again, man, about an hour ago. It went up over the mountain. I mean, seriously, we found a UFO. I don't know, like, I, I started to get closer to it, and, like, it just moved away. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what it was, man, but this is this is done. This is over with. Come on. Come on. We're out of here. Turn and turn the battery off. That's our last battery. Turn it off. All right. All right. Turn all right. It is 1.30 in the morning, and we're gonna try to get some sleep. It's been a long day, and... And hopefully you won't see this. And obviously, you were right, I need to get a better class of friend. What classy guy. Dude, Hal, what the fuck? Are you alright, Hal? Hal, are you okay? Oh, okay, fuck. Dude, what the fuck was that, man? I've been hiding out for like 20 minutes. Uh.
I know where he is. I know where he went. Morgan? We're away. <laughs> In so many ways alike. I love you. And I know you won't stop until you find the truth. This is for you. I'm not leaving Alex behind. If I don't make it, they're in the rocks. I can't imagine how it went too far in the time. Closest rocky range is about two clicks from you. I'm going to upload the coordinates to your locator. You have to watch. Got it. You know, so far, we've had it pretty good, not too much interference. But at the foot of the mountain, we may not be so lucky. I still see no reason why we can't take all this evidence to the police. Because they didn't take it seriously the first time. There's new information. They have to reopen the case, right? No. Why not? I don't trust them, that's why. Then let's go to the news, get the footage out there, let someone else do the digging. Morgan? You can't ignore all this shit that's been happening. Something is out there. Dude, and this something came to your hours. tent I'm more than once, as it did with Hal and Alex and both of them. I'm going out there. I'm gonna get some sleep and then I'm going out there, dude. Hey Goose, um, okay, I'm back at my last campsite. The GPS coordinates that you sent point to the rocks that Hal mentioned. Looks like they're southeast of here. They don't look too far, but it'll be dark soon. I'm a bit worried about the power. Switch off one of the cameras for now, okay? I don't want to lose both of them. Okay, I'll, I'll power it up again when I hit the base of the rocks. Cool. Looks like I'm nearly done pulling apart the sound frequencies we intercepted earlier. I'll let you know what we got. Only good news though, okay? Scans from earlier finished processing. I'm gonna play it, okay? <laughs> Sounds human. So that rolls out the alien abduction theory. Don't be so quick to jump. Let's run it through a recognition trip. 
quick, because I'm getting close to where I might begin to lose you. Deep too. I switched the knife settings. Can you see okay? <sighs> the GPS. My GPS seems to be intermittent. Hard to keep a lock in. This sucks. <sighs> so does this climb. This isn't gonna work. This pack weighs a ton even without the tent. getting any of this, but I'm pretty close to the top. Not much further to go. I still can't see anything. The lights are gone. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go a bit higher. And hopefully we can get a connection. It must be a hundred feet up by now. I'm telling you, this is happening right now. Well, I need to understand what's happening right now. 
This girl, Morgan, you say she's been abducted? Abducted? I don't know. All I know is... You don't know. I... I don't yeah. know. You don't know? I don't even know. Sir, please oh. listen to me. All I know is that we were shooting a documentary together. I've been tracking her for the last two days. And she should be on this screen, but she's not. You're tracking her? You have her permission? What does this mean? Buffering? That's good. Good? We have found a, her? We have a signal. She must have gained some height. cameras left? I think so. Maybe. Set them up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> A little better, I guess. Can I play like, pass the time? Is it scary? Intriguing. Okay. As the Secretary General of the United Nations, an organization of 147 member states who represent almost all of the human inhabitants of the planet Earth, I send greetings on behalf of the people of our planet. All the sound we scan, all of them, are from the recordings sent into space on the Voyager back in the 1970s. Voyager? We know full well the 
that our planet and all its inhabitants are but a small part of this immense universe Let's just get you out of there. around us, and it is with humility and confidence that Charlie, this is Rodrigo. Hold on to the shop again, sir. Uh, stand by, please. Uh, local says 10 minutes out. Did you hear that? <sighs> okay. something out here. I can feel it. You can't see anything. Nothing. Don't it feel 